their roots. Yeah. Look at that one. I love working with this scale because it always makes me think of uh, working bigger and bigger and bigger. And, you know, the moment you make something large that you think you want, then it's like, oh, you know, make something bigger. And I just like walking through my works and walking around them and, and building inside of my works. And that's just so exciting to me. We moved here from Athens, Ohio and set up a studio, kind of allowing me to build a studio big enough to kind of accommodate some of the works that I'm doing in ceramics and have a kiln, a big enough studio space to do that. Initially it started as this idea of like, they became these kind of impossible objects. Ceramics was this scale to me and um, curiosity of creating this kind of impossible large scale ceramic object, a material that was really fluid with the kind of speed of my own ideas. I don't feel like I'm having to postpone ideas because of the material. Like I feel like it's like in sync with how, how quickly I work. Like if I can work on maybe tw 12 pieces at a time and I like engage and have another idea and start another piece. And it seems just like really fluid where I don't have to like stop or like, no, no, I put something to the side for a while. I really haven't done figure in a while, so these are these are some new pieces for me. They're always changing, and so you have to constantly trying to figure out the object. You know, you're building it, and then you know, then it shrinks and changes as an object. It changes color. You know, then you fire it, and then it shrinks again, and it you know loses its porosity and becomes a totally different object. And then you almost have to like revisit this object after it's gone through that many changes to kind of get a sense about what it is how you approach it with color. So there's always these like points of like tension and suspense kind of, I guess, in the process that's always like really a phenomenal and active way of working. Like I just get, it's very exciting for me, you know, moving these pieces through space, these like 500 or 1,000 pound eggshells, you know, like how do you move it into the kiln and if, as if it was like nothing. Mostly I work by myself because I just like this physical space, the mental space to be able to negotiate and navigate these pieces. You know, I, I think it's important to me to like make all the little petals and carve hair and the eyeballs and the feet and stuff. Like more of a description of who, who I am or it helps me kind of clarify my perception, my, my ability to kind of articulate. I mean, I have a lot of personal connection to the material just because I grew up around it and my, my dad was a functional potter. And, and I have a little boy, he's three years old. I don't think about it really directly when I make my work, you know, but, but I'm obviously kind of, okay, you know, make these kind of child objects. Because I haven't played in a long time, you know, and so like I guess having a kid like, allows you to, to play and like smile and stuff like that. My work makes me smile a lot. I've never been happier with um, my little boy and, and uh, causing me to stop and engage life in a different way. And I really like that uh, <laughs> way of working. <laughs>